choose to eat something and then respect your choice. Don't dread that, oh, I'm gonna eat this thing, you know, this, this moment is coming up where I'm gonna be at this specific place and they're gonna have this thing that I love or this kind of food that I like or I'm going to this family event and I know they're gonna have this, you know, pasta that I like or this fried chicken that I like or mom's gonna make that cake and she knows I can't resist it or you know my husband's gonna take me to the movies and he knows I love the popcorn and the soda or whatever don't don't take yourself through the dread regret roller coaster because it's just like you just go back and forth between like dreading the thing when it's coming and then regretting that it happened and that there's you're never living in the now so I, I really want you to get in this habit and, I, and I'm speaking from experience because I did this you know I would you know I talked in another video before about how you know my husband would we went to it was I think the restaurant's called Firebirds <laughs> once with you know just a family and you know and the whole way there I'm thinking like how am I gonna go there and not eat the brownie a la mode thing or <laughs> whatever it's called? Like literally, that's what was going through my head. And um, I mean, I love this. It's salted caramel, salted caramel, brownie, something or other. So good, so good. And that's all I could think about. You know, and we were going, I don't even remember why, like maybe it was like my husband's birthday or something and he wanted to go there. I don't remember what it was, but I just, I dreaded it so much because like I I knew that I needed or knew that I needed to resist this thing like how am I gonna go there and not eat the salted caramel brownie I love the salted caramel brownie he knows I love the salted caramel brownie why is he taking me there when he knows that I love the salted caramel brownie what what am I gonna do he better not order the salted caramel brownie because if he orders it then I'm gonna have to eat it and if I eat it then that just blows everything like why would he do that to me? And then we get there and the whole meal, that's all I'm thinking about is like, he better not order, he better not order that salted caramel brownie. You know, and I ordered my like fish or whatever. I ordered my, like that was on my diet approved list at the time. And when that time came and the server said, would you like dessert? You know, I'm like, nope, nope, we're good. We don't want dessert. <laughs> And my husband was like, yeah, let's get the brownie. What the crap? Like seriously, why would you get the brownie? You know, and, and this was my reaction in the restaurant. Are you kidding me? Why would you get that? You know that I want to eat the brownie. You know that I'm going to be tempted to eat the brownie, but you're just going to get it and eat it right in front of me. Ugh, this is, I can't believe you. This is so ridiculous. Yeah. Grown woman in a restaurant getting upset over the brownie. And I don't, I don't know what I thought would happen. Maybe, maybe he would change his mind. Maybe he would like go flat down the server and like, no, we don't need it. It's fine. She's, we're all on a diet because she's on a diet. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. All I know is that the brownie came and I broke down. Broke down. Cry, like tears <laughs> tears and like I mean I, I I can laugh about it now because I'm like how how did I look to my son to my husband crying over a dessert like they they didn't get it you know like they're like do you want some <laughs> You know, and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want any. I mean, it's, it was insane. But it was a huge turning point for me. Because I started realizing that that's what I had been doing. Everywhere that I went, I was just going, I was living in dread of what was to come. Of when that point would come where I would break. And then once it came, I would be regretting that I did, like, I, if I eat this, that, you know, I'd eat it and then I'd feel bad about it. So I just, I just want 
the point of that story is to really drive home, like, make the choice. One, if you really love something, do, do not take yourself through that. That is absolutely ridiculous. And that does not show that you are like some supreme being because you can stand there and you can like have restraint over having this thing, this, this one little measly thing that you truly, truly like. The other aspects of the meal, I probably could, you know, it, it didn't matter to me one way or the other. I was able to get through the meal and it wasn't like I felt like I was like missing some big part of the meal. There wasn't some meal there that I loved. It was the dessert. There was nothing wrong with eating the fish or whatever it was that I had and then eating the brownie with my family and enjoying this family moment when instead I, I ruined the family moment. I, I, I tried to put guilt on them for eating something that they loved when they had, they both had reasonable meals or whatever. And even if not, it's that nothing is that important that it should have that much power over us. So making conscious choices to eat the things that you truly, truly enjoy. Remember, we've already, you know, we've discerned whether or not this was just easy or quick and convenient or our actual thing that we love. We've already discerned that. We've already dissected the parts of the meal that we like. Mm, I can do without that. Really love that. This is so-so. We've already done that. We've already decided that, you know what? This is mediocre. So if I'm gonna go with mediocre, let me go with this alternative choice that's more nutrient dense. We've already played out everything else. So when you get to the point where you're choosing to eat the thing that you love, the thing that you enjoy, you know, it doesn't have to be maybe something that you're like obsessed over or anything, although it does tend to turn into an obsession. The point is that when you get to that point where it's, you're making the choice to eat the thing that you like, whatever it is, whether it's something big or small, make it a choice choose to do it you are not like tripping and falling into the thing so that later you're like oh my gosh i can't believe that i did that no no regrets it's a choice choose to eat it everything that you eat choose to eat it say to yourself when you're eating it i i'm choosing to eat this thing and that's your choice when you make a choice, it's it's on you. That's something that you are going to stick with. That's something that you are not going to regret afterwards. Even if you make the choice to eat it and then you're like, you know, afterwards you're like, you know, that really wasn't that good and I probably could have done without it. Oh, well, you learn from it and you move on. Do not dwell in it. There's no regrets, okay? Because you just start right over again at the next meal. It's fine. When you get into that, you know, that, that dwelling tendency, that's what keeps you in this, this whole regret dread roller coaster. You don't want that. You don't want to live from regret to dread because you're never living in the now. You're never fully enjoying the things that are going on with your friends and your family. And you honestly probably not getting very far in your journey because the stress that that keeps you going through stifles your progress. So I know that that one I had to kind of separate from the others to, to show you, you know, how important it is, but I cannot stress it enough that making a choice to eat a food that you love is crucial. Don't regret it. Don't mindlessly eat it. And look up and be like, I didn't even taste it. I don't even, I'm, I still want it. Choose it. Choose to eat it. If you want chocolate, you better eat chocolate. And at the end, remember how the chocolate tastes. If you want some chips and you eat some, don't look up and like, you know, oh man, the, the movie's over. I still want chips. Because you weren't paying attention. Or because you feel bad. And so it's like, oh well, now the rest of it's over. Okay? I know that's like, a, <laughs> that's like its whole own little rant. But... I'm, I'm going to say that as many times as it takes until you get it, until you experience what I experienced where it finally clicks like, 
So what? I'm going to eat the thing. It's all good. All right. <laughs>